Throughout this week, I've been thinking about the different experiences with my father. You'll hear everyone talk about that fishing trip that they went on with him, or that he was the light of the party, making everyone laugh. While those moments certainly are great memories, I wanted to focus on one specific time with him. In late December 2022, my car had just plunged into a bog, and I had just missed crashing into a truck as my car slid on ice. My car had launched from the road into a pile of mud and water, and I was stuck. And I was on the way to go to work with my dad. I was just a few minutes away from the job site. I was in such a state of shock and panic that I called him and I said I needed help. Earlier that same month, I was struggling really hard. I wasn't doing well emotionally, financially, spiritually. So I started working for my dad's business in order to try to bring in some extra money. But honestly, it was a job I wasn't really excited to do at that moment. I wasn't much of a remodeler, and I wasn't born with that natural gift. And I remember one day that I had woken up, and I had been very upset with how my day was going. I came into work, and I was doing so bad. I was painting in this little basement room all by myself, and I was just crying. And I felt I was in so much pain. I couldn't hold back my tears. My dad came into the room and noticed and immediately came over and asked me what was wrong. When he saw how I was doing, he put me aside and said, we need to take five minutes. He let me vent and he just walked me through the situation. For two and a half hours, we didn't do an ounce of work. He just kept me talking and making me feel better. He cared enough to know that stopping for nearly three hours was more important than getting the job done. He told me about how he had dreams of things bigger than himself. He wanted to make a podcast about men and their place in this world, and he wanted to help kids like me find a place to go for their mental health. He said so many young men are so sad these days without someone to guide them. I saw a man who really cared about my mental health. At the end of our conversation, he said, Dad, Danny, you aren't a painter. That isn't your calling. Honestly, this really wasn't what I wanted to do with my life either. It's just what I know and it's what I'm good at. <laughs> he told me that I'd figure my life out and I should put 100% into my film business and focus on what made me special. And he was the type of person who could so easily identify what was wrong with your life and help you through a problem. My dad saved my life that day. He saved me from spiraling and saved me from letting my bad thoughts get to me. I couldn't. He told me I could pursue my dreams. The following week, I crashed my car on the way to work where my dad, and it was certainly a near-death situation. Dad had helped me get my car out of that bog. After he called me and told me, he said he wanted me to stop working for the business and only work as a videographer for them. He wanted me to focus more on video work and wanted me to expand the amount of videos we were doing for the business and that podcast we were going to work on about young men. He hadn't just pulled that car out of the bog, he pulled me out of that bog. My heart and soul was entrenched in some deep sadness and he pulled me out to safety. And we never got to finish that together. We barely even got started. But I promise you, with my every waking moment since his passing, I'm going to do everything to honor his legacy and make sure that his dream gets fully realized. It's time for you to rest, Dad. It's time for you to take a break. It's time for you to be at peace. The hard work is done. But for me, it's just begun. I love you, Dad. I love you guys. <sighs>